Got a small spate of replies from a new set of weirdos on Twitter yesterday. These were the type of weirdo that have Jesus is Lord as their entire bio. One of those replies yesterday said, when are you going to come to your senses and repent? I don't agree with the assumptions that that question is built on, but the question itself, okay, reasonable enough. But then he said, how else do you expect to have your sins washed away? It's a funny question because it assumes that we all already agree that we need our sins washed away. And now it's just a question of how. What particular ablution <laughs> are we going to use to get this filth off ourselves? But I don't feel filthy most of the time. Sin isn't a given. Sin is like miracles that some people believe in and some people don't. And I don't. Though, if I believed in sin and I needed to get it off me, I don't think I'd choose blood. It just doesn't really come to mind as, a, as an appropriate cleansing agent. And if for some reason I were compelled to use blood to clean the sin off me, I'd have to have something else to clean the blood off me. It's a sticky ordeal, this, this salvation business. I think what you should use to cleanse yourself of sin really depends on what the sin is made of. Is it greasy? Is it sticky? I love Goo Gone. But like, you don't use Goo Gone on your deck. Do we just need to be power washed? If so, I still don't think we should be power washed with blood. Blood's just gonna make things messier. I don't think I'd hire Jesus to clean my house. Can you imagine coming home and like everything's wiped down in blood and he thinks he did such a great job? I'm getting sidetracked. Anyhow, thanks to those folks on Twitter for coming along against their better judgment. You're invited too.